You guys, welcome to our first demonetized video on YouTube that may or may not get age restricted. We haven't figured that out yet. Um, a huge shout out to our new channel sponsor for making this possible. Uh, we're looking at you, Gideon Optics. Gideon Optics, guys, if you like us, you like our channel, you like the content that we put out, you like the stuff that we make and you wanna see more of it, use the code PLEASE! PLEASE! at checkout. If you use the code please at checkout, you get a discount that lets them know that they should keep supporting our channel. Gideon Optics is the channel sponsor. You'll get a little banner, a little reminder every video from now on. Today, let's talk about the thing that's going to get us in trouble, the thing that we are talking about today that YouTube hates. It is a three position FRT. That's right. It's a force reset trigger. So this is from Delta Team Tactical. It is one, two, three positions. That's right. It goes all the way backwards. I don't think you could beat that. The thing with an FRT is you're, you're shooting it and you're thinking to yourself, man, I wish that it wasn't always on, right? I wish that it was able to be semi-auto when I want it to be and then force the reset when I want it to be, which is not fully automatic. Thank you, the Supreme Court, for determining that this is not a fully automatic firearm. So YouTube, if you are watching and you do want to do us a favor and monetize the video, this is not fully automatic, according to the Supreme Court and according to the Ninth Circuit. So if you guys are thinking about getting one of these, you've seen this product come out and you saw it and it's released and you're thinking, man, how good can that be? Because Delta Team Tactical has whatever track record Delta Team Tactical has. Uh, well, that's what we're here to talk about today. And I'm here to give you just like the quickest demonstration that you ever have gotten in your entire life. So let's chamber around here in the old PSA Sabre and I'm just gonna fire it real fast. One, two, nice. And now watch how consistent this brass pattern is. Let's get into it. All right, so to demonstrate this, I've got a mag loaded with 12 rounds. We've got two targets down there. We're gonna do two build drills, two six shot build drills. Uh, first, we're gonna do standard, regular, semi-automatic, which is uh, you control the reset of the of the trigger before you pull it. And then uh, we're gonna do one six shot build drill with forced reset where it will reset the trigger for me so I can pull it really, really fast. Uh, all right, so first drill. All right, shooter, are you ready? Oh yeah, I'm so freaking ready. Stand by. It was slightly was, off, but yeah. we didn't zero the optic. We just threw it on before we came here because I never shoot my PSA Sabre. That was a 1.58. 1.58. S forced reset. All right, shooter, are you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Stand by. That was uh, 0.98 seconds. Anyway, basically the exact same grouping. The optic is uh, off, but... Low right. It's the most controllable recoil system. Yeah, atrociously low, yeah. low right. So if you guys shoot, aim at like the top C and you'll hit. Um, boom, locked back. We're running the PSA Sabre guys, but we did have to put a Sons of Liberty good bolt carrier group in this because the PSA one, after like 2000 rounds, looks like it's about to fall apart. It's and also then, like the extremely lightweight one. Yeah, and the reason that I went with this uh, one is literally just because the hyper fire trigger that they put in this, they don't lock tight and it fell apart. And uh, yeah, so. Yeah. We also changed the buffer system. Right? And we changed the buffer yeah, it's, system. It's got Basically, a we made H3. the gun run. Yeah. It's got a guy's Lee H3. Give me that. It's time for the alpha male. Alpha male. Alpha male to make his run. Bill drill. Bill drill. All right. Shooter ready? I am so ready. Stand by. Dude, that was fantastic. Uh, 1.94. First shot on 0.94. Okay. Ready? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so ready. All right. I'm so ready. Super semi automatic. Stand by. One point two two seconds. First shot in a point six eight. It. I think you're pulling low right. Probably. Uh, maybe we're pulling. I pulled, the first time I shot it, I pulled low right. I could. Right. I could only I think imagine. We're pulling low right because it's it's such a controllable <laughs> amount of recoil, and we're expecting it to be more because we've shot things that are fully automatic in the past, and this is not fully automatic, so the recoil pattern's different. It's just different. It's different. All right, shooter, are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Oh. Ah. It almost got all the way there and then it bounced back to normal semi. That was a 2.13. Yeah. So from safety on all the way around is a little bit harder, especially when you don't quite get there and it flicks back to normal semi. 
but the shot time, what was first shot the was last a, split or the first shot in a 159. Yeah. So like 0.5 for all six <laughs> shots. <laughs> Second drill. This one I think is actually really useful to do. We're going to put it in uh, forced reset mode and then I'm going to do two shots on this target. I'm going to go all the way across to the other far out target and two shots on it. Uh, try to hit the A zone and see how fast we can do that. So, um... That sounded like Tannerite. That was probably Tannerite. That was Tannerite. That's cool. All right, shooter, you That's ready? not us. We don't do Tannerite out here. That's not that's, that's not respectable. That's technically, un it's technically unsanctioned. We would never do unsanctioned things. We definitely or edgy didn't things in our... blow something up here before. Never. We Anyways. A letter that says we can do what we want all the time. Yep. <laughs> shooter, you ready? I'm so ready. Stand yeah, by. Oh, uh, I put three in. That was three. I put three in. It's hard. It's a little hard. I'll, I'll be honest. It's a little hard to walk off the trigger. Sometimes uh, it doesn't pick stuff up, and I was holding it up to that. But uh, well, uh, uh, two alpha. Yeah. Come over here. Uh, I got two alpha, but I pulled because I didn't mean to fire this third one. So honestly, pretty bad. I did fire when I didn't mean to, but I kept it down. Okay. It's safe, and it's a Charlie. But it would have stopped in them anyways. Yeah. Two alpha. Two alpha. So and a Charlie. But... Well, probably not. It would have went right through them. Uh, my time was a 1.35, except for it didn't ra rail all of them because uh, this alpha male is not alpha. No, it's all a lie. Your turn. Are you ready? Yeah. Shooter ready. Stand by. That was three. Three again. Uh, that one, it did register all the shots. First shot in a 0 0.72, 1.90. 10 second splits. Point, point 0.10 second splits. A uh, tenth of a second on the split. And it looks like you got... Two Charlie. Two Charlie. And two. And one Charlie and Mike's. <laughs> cool. Cool. Nice. <laughs> All right, my turn. Try and go two and two. I think I've got six total. Yeah, there's one in the chamber. So six total. So let's see if I can control this. Okay. You ready? Yep. Stand by. Yeah, I pulled it too light on the first one, and then I got two off and two off. Yeah. So we got uh, all of them. Two point five five. Two five five for a total of five rounds. Um, I think I have two Charlies on this one, and I don't know. We I didn't look at these really very close before we started. Uh, well, I'm the only one with Alpha so far. So you got one Alpha. One Alpha, one Charlie, and I think two Charlies over there. So. Or, Three Charlies. I don't know. I had three on the first target, so it's not that serious. Anyway, it's it's just not. We're that going more serious. more so to test the time, but I crippled that because I suck at this. Tenth of a second splits. Uh, we just had a string of ammunition shots uh, out of multiple magazines where it wasn't resetting the hammer uh, automatically, or it wasn't resetting the trigger automatically. It was uh, only operating when you released it to refire. Uh, I take it apart, I took the upper off, I cleaned it, thinking the gun's dirty, and as I'm putting it back together, I noticed something. I noticed right here, uh, this there's a little tiny, tiny screw in here that is not Loctited and is coming out of the uh, out of the trigger cassette. So we are going to have to pull this apart. We don't have any Loctite, obviously, because we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so we're going to pull it apart, take the trigger out, put this screw back in, put it back in. It uh, looks like if you get one of these, uh, Loctite this screw, Delta team knows this, they sent it to us, so we're gonna just uh, work work through it. But there you go, our first problem encountered, and this is, uh, <laughs> we're like we're like 700 rounds deep. Yeah, so we, we put a couple rounds through it. We put a couple it. mags through it, but I mean, it's worth noting, this little screw here walked out. So take it apart, um, I'm gonna screw that back in, and hopefully we'll be good to go. So luckily I didn't have to take the entire thing apart. Um, I was able to tighten it right here without pulling the whole cassette trigger out. I just had to take the pins out. I slipped this tool in. I got here. Thankfully, one of us was prepared who was not me and brought tools. So that is now in. I retightened that screw down. I did not put thread locker on it because I would have to take the whole cassette out to do that. And I just don't want to deal with that. So thread locker will sit. We'll put it back together and let's run it again. We're back at it. I threaded the thread, the thread screw back in, and uh, I have a hunch that it's gonna work now. That was it. Yep, that was it. Okay. Let's get back into our final thoughts. We, uh, 
we didn't torque this down at all. Yeah, we, we, I we decided we needed an optic as we were walking <laughs> out the door, and I just screwed that together so it wasn't level at all, <laughs> and uh, it's also not tight. It's sure moving around. But, you know, <laughs> that's how it be when you're a gun tuber sometimes. <laughs> anyway, Don't zero optic. It worked, it worked for the video. There's no point. All right, final thoughts, guys. Uh, here's the deal. I mean, let's let's talk about shill disclosures. Um, Focus Trip and I have beef because he says that this is payment for a video, but uh, the amount of ammunition we just shot makes this video net me a negative. Even if I could sell this trigger, I would still lose money on the video. On top of that, we lose money because this will not get monetized. Yeah, There's it's, no it's chance. cool when people send stuff out, but like, it doesn't pay... Joe's car, multiple car payments. It doesn't pay my car payments. It doesn't pay rent. Uh, it, yeah. doesn't, uh, it doesn't give us money. So uh, anyway. I don't, I'm going to say they didn't pay us for this review. They did send the trigger. They though. sent us a trigger. So shout but out to them for that. I can't give my landlord a gun for payment you, for rent. Exactly. You can, you can that. use a gun to get a house, but only temporarily. So yeah, um, that's, um, that's, that's, that's what we're going to say. Yeah, we got sent this a trigger. They sent us this to test fun. out. You can tell that we're being honest. I mean, the trigger broke. Uh, a little like, bit. Super fun, but the trigger stopped working. And if you are not, like, if you don't have a background in ARs, uh, people are, are going to get to that point and think, oh, man, my gun is broken. Like, it's it's done, it's broken, it's not working anymore. Um, but it was just this screw in the back came unthreaded. So uh, Delta team, hopefully they're watching this, and I'm sure they will. Yeah. Um, um, something to watch out thing. for. You know, it's not unheard of for stuff to vibrate out of place, though. I mean, optic companies will warn you to check that on your scope mounts um, and other things. You shouldn't have to check it first yeah. range day. Uh, same, Maybe not in your trigger, but yeah. In your, inside your trigger cassette. So uh, that is, I think, unacceptable, but also, like, just Loctite it now that you know. We um, also shot, like, four times as much ammo today as the average so person shoots in a year. Yeah, so. most people would have cried. Like, they're, my wallet. Not even just I today, was unless this whole in, like, two hours. Yeah, so. we, <laughs> we shot so many bullets. <laughs> so many bullets. Uh, to put this on, a thing that's worth noting, I think this is always worth noting, uh, to put this on, you do need to pull the trigger. So put it on uh, regular semi-automatic mode mode here with this off and then pull the trigger forward and then you're able to press the upper on you'll see it's not quite there on the fitment um, i had to push this little stuff forward here the trigger drops and you can see that the thing lops and then we're able to uh, put the upper receiver on that sounded really complicated so let me do it one more time uh trigger is pulled we click here sorry there's a little bit of movement we let that fire here there's a little bit of movement this right here moves forward and now it will close on and you're good to go. So it seems complicated, but like when once, we put the Fostec trigger in, it also had a special thing we had to do to get the upper to close on the lower. So it's just kind of how it'd be with these types on, of triggers. Good to go. Aside from that, the three selector switch is freaking awesome. Uh, the single stage trigger, like it's, this, it's crispy. It's a good trigger. I mean, yeah. it's not amazing. It's uh, like snapping a candy cane. It feels good. It feels good. It's not a rise armament trigger. It's not like a, it's not a Geisley two single stage. stage. Or it's or a very stage, uh, like it's here. Yeah, we'll ghost it real fast. It's unsafe, Joe. There we'll go see real fast. So it's uh, you can see there's some creep before it fires, but it's better than a mil spec. Probably five-ish pounds or so. Probably five-ish pounds less or so. Mil spec. It's a good trigger. Um, and then force reset mode, obviously, just it just goes. It just works. It's it's awesome. So I'm happy with this. Uh, I'm actually happy enough with this that this is going to go in in one of our ARs. Uh, if you're the ATF and you're watching this or DHS, because we know DHS agents watch our stuff, uh, you know we're licensed, so you can suck it. We paid uh, to we put paid ourselves so on much money the ATF to list. get the likes, the licenses. So yeah. we're good to go. Um, if if you don't, if you live in a free state, you can just get this, which is really cool. Um, if you don't live in a free state. L, sucks to be you, team. just like it sucks to be us. Sucks to be us. Um, go, go get an FFL. I don't know. Change your life. Yeah, you can get this from Delta Team Tactical's website if you are interested in one, if you want one for yourself. Uh, the, the, like, the way to do this review or to finish this up is that all of us wish we had uh, more. So we wish that we were getting sent three more of these and we're not. Yeah, I'd uh, like to have a lower setup with one of those. They're awesome. They're please. straight up awesome. So, please, 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 uh, please, 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 please. We really do like them. Even with that like one flaw, I don't think that that's a flaw. Maybe it's because we know about guns and i don't want to like it might just be the average joe happenstance but also joe gets stuff that kind of falls apart arms, so. we've all built a lot of a lot of firearms so easy for me to diagnose this issue uh checked if it was gunked up obviously that was yeah, we not the well BCG it was it was gunked up um, but that wasn't the culprit. Check the gas rings. That wasn't the culprit. And then as I'm putting it together, um, I checked the trigger pack itself. And that was, in fact, the culprit. So that was fixed. Uh, thanks so much, Delta Team, for sending this out. Uh, if you guys want one, we're not allowed to say websites on YouTube anymore. We get taken down. And this video is going to get us a lot of heat anyway. So if you're watching it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to use our code, please.
Please! At GideonOptics.com. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.